Atrial fibrillation affects 33.3 million people worldwide and is a major cause of stroke. However, many individuals are without symptom and undiagnosed. For others, the first time they present is when they have a stroke and this can have devastating consequences. Several guidelines recommend that people 65 years and older have opportunistic screening for atrial fibrillation using pulse palpation followed by an ECG. But this takes approximately five to 10 minutes to prepare the patient and acquire a 12 lead ECG. Clinicians work load, lack of staff and time pressure are barriers to implementation of this. Handheld ECG devices may be a pragmatic alternative. These devices may be less time consuming to use and could potentially relieve the time pressure faced by clinicians. So the good news is that it takes about one minute to acquire a result using a single lead handheld ECG devices and is easily translated into a community setting. But the not so good news is that the accuracy of handheld ECG device vary significantly and the factors that affect the variations in accuracies are unknown. Mass opportunistic atrial fibrillation screening is more likely to occur in community as opposed to hospital and it is important to understand the accuracy of different handheld ACG devices in different settings to inform the implementation of screening at scale. However, the potential assistance of spectrum effect of handheld ECG devices used in different settings and possible variation that it may cause in diagnostic accuracy is not well examined. Therefore, we aim to determine if accuracy of, for detection of atrial fibrillation using handheld ECG automated algorithm is influenced by, first, the type of ECG device used, second, the setting from which participants were recruited, and the, the characteristics of the participant's screen. The method applied in this systematic review used eligible studies from community and hospital settings, reporting the diagnostic accuracy of handheld ACG devices, that is, devices producing a random strip for detecting atrial fibrillation in adults, compared to a gold standard 12 lead ACG or Holter monitor. To do this, the research team searched six major databases, applied relevant inclusion and exclusion criteria, and assessed the quality of the primary studies using Quadras 2 checklists. Our results identify 885 articles, 14 were included, six studies recruited in community, including 6,064 ACGs, and eight studies in hospital settings, including 2,116 ACGs. The cumulative sensitivity was 89% in community and 92% in hospital. The cumulative specificity was 99% in community and 95% in hospital. In conclusion, the cumulative sensitivity and specificity of single lead handheld ACG device was high. Setting and the type of ECG device were significant factors influencing variation in sensitivity and specificity. So these are the highlights of our findings. You will find more information in the published paper. And I would like to thank my research team members and project supervisor for their contribution. Thank you.